Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 25th of 2021. Well, it is titled the tale of a Christmas comet. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of Comet Leonard taken just a couple of days ago. And there was a nice outburst pushing it up to level of naked eye visibility, but it's right on the edge and you really need a pair of binoculars or a small telescope to be able to see it well. Here we see very great detail in the tail of the comet, however. Now a comet is really defined by its head up towards the right hand side here and the tail stretching back out to the left hand side. That's what we see of the comet from Earth. Now the actual piece of the comet is the nucleus which is completely invisible here and in fact has not been seen from Earth and has only been seen by a couple of spacecraft that have traveled close to comets and explored them in more detail. So we can't actually see the nucleus of the comet from Earth because of its small size and because it is buried within the front of the head portion here. But when that comes close to the sun material gets vaporized off the surface and forms a halo around the head of the comet. And then that material gets pushed back in the tail. So the tail is just a very, very uh, low density a section of material that has been pushed off the surface there while it spreads over a long distance there is very little material there and in fact if you could travel to the tail of a comet it would be better than a vacuum here on earth there are so few particles there however they are energized by the sun and they do glow and we can see them very prominently especially in an image like this one now, it, uh, Comet Leonard has completed its closest passage to Earth a couple of weeks ago and is going to head by towards now its closest approach to the sun, which will be on January 3rd. And that will be likely when it is at its most prominent overall. However, as it gets further and further from Earth, it will appear fainter to us. So we've probably, depending on exactly what happens with it, reached its best visibility and likely over over the coming weeks, it will start to fade a little bit in brightness from Earth, even though it's getting closer to the sun. And then after January 3rd, it will be heading off into space again, back into the outer solar system. And comets uh, will head back out. Some comets will, are periodic and will come back in again. Others make just a single trip into the inner solar system. So we're used to things like Halley's Comet, which comes back about every 76 years, and other comets that only come once. So that was our picture of the day for December 25th of 2021. It was titled The Tale of a Christmas Comet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be the icy sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.